Today I'm going to show you how to sew a gnome Christmas ornament. This is part of our 25 days of Christmas ornament sewing patterns. The link to this printable sewing pattern is below in the description box or if you're watching from our website, alohasewingcompany.com, welcome and sew along. There are a variety of ways that you can make this gnome ornament. Number one is the more traditional way where you can just make the hat and the beard and then add the nose. This is the cutest way in my opinion, but you can also use the other pattern pieces that I have included to add a hat cuff, like number two, or number three and four has the hat, the hat cuff, a face, and a beard. You can use a variety of noses. I like to use pom-poms, any kind like you see here, or you can use the pattern piece and just do a felt, fleece, or flannel nose. If you would like to screenshot or take pictures of these two images, so that way it gives you some ideas on different materials you can use. I'm going to show you how to make the complete pattern gnome with the face, the hat cuff, and everything, but if you just want to use the beard and the hat, or the beard, the cuff, and the hat, you would just take away the pattern pieces you don't wanna use. This is going to be the back of my ornament, so you just need to cut one of each pattern piece, and this is the hanging loop. It's just a piece of ribbon about one fourth inch wide, but you can also use yarn, twine, um, any, any kind of material that you want to, to hang this. The first thing you're going to do is get your hanging loop ribbon or whatever you're using and crisscross it at the top. Then you're going to put it diagonally at the tip of your hat. Then you're just going to take it to your machine and sew a little stitch really close to the edge just to hold this in place. You can see I just put a couple stitches right there. You're not gonna see it on your finished project so it doesn't matter how it looks. The next thing you're going to do if you're doing the hat cuff or the beard, whatever part you're adding, go ahead and put it so that it is right sides facing down, lining up with the bottom of your hat. So using about a one fourth of an inch seam allowance all the way across the bottom. Here is mine sewn. And now we just need to flip this cuff or your beard or whatever part you're adding down. And then we're going to do the same thing with the next part of our face ornament. This is the face pattern piece. The short edge is the one that you are going to put face down, lining up with the bottom of the hat cuff and sew it using a 1 4 inch seam allowance right across the bottom raw edges. We're gonna do the same thing to add the beard. Now, if you're just doing the hat and the beard, you will have a little bit of extra fabric on the width of the beard when you line it up with your hat and that's okay. You can just cut it off once we have it finished sewn. If you are not adding a pom-pom nose and you wanna use the pattern piece, cut this out on felt, flannel, or fleece or a fabric that does not fray. Put it in the middle of the face or in the middle of the beard and the hat and sew right close to the edge all the way around the circle. You can see I sewed very slowly using a small short stitch all the way around. If you're using a pom-pom, you'll hot glue or sew that on at the end. Now what you wanna do is get your hanging loop and you wanna put it and pin it towards the middle of your hat. So that way when we're sewing this to our backing piece, we don't catch that hanging loop in our stitches. I like to pin it in place and make sure the top of your pin should be facing down towards the beard. The top of my pin is facing towards the hat top. Don't do that. <laughs> So now we're going to put this right side down on top of our backing fabric that's just a little bit larger than the front of my ornament. Pin it in place a few times and then we're going to sew all the way around this but leaving about a one and a half inch opening on the side that you are not going to sew. Here is mine sewn onto the backing fabric with the right sides together. I can, you can see I stayed right close to the edges using about a 1 4 inch or slightly smaller seam allowance. 
Go ahead and remove any pins on the outside and then we're going to trim down our seam allowance. If you don't have pinking shears, I highly recommend getting them if you're sewing ornaments. And that's because you're gonna trim all your seam allowance down without having to cut slits around your curves and your corners. And you don't wanna cut where your whole opening is. Skip that part and leave a little bit of extra fabric around that area and make sure that you're clipping all the way around. Pinking shears are good for this because when you flip it right side out, it'll help your fabric to lay nice and smooth and not pucker. Um, if you are using regular scissors, clip all of your corners and make sure to go in around your curves and clip some slits into your curves right up to the stitches. Now we're going to flip this right side out, but first we wanna get that pin that we have on the inside that's on our hanging loop. This is why I told you that you should have the bottom of the pin towards the bottom and not towards the hat top because you don't wanna poke yourself trying to get that needle out of there. So while you flip it right side out, I also like to use a chopstick, go in there and smoothen out all of your seams and poke out your corners. Don't do it too roughly because you will go right through your stitches if you're not careful. Now let's go to our whole opening. You wanna just turn your fabric inwards so that it's flush with the rest of the fabric on the outside of your ornament. And at this time, if you wanna add some structure to your ornament, you can fill it with a little bit of polyfill before you close this opening. If you want to add that structure to the ornament with the polyfill here or any kind of stuffing you have on hand, do that now. And then to close this opening, you can put a little bit of hot glue right there and press it closed. You can also top stitch all the way around or just at the opening, or you can hand stitch it closed using a blind ladder stitch, whatever you prefer. Now I like to go ahead and add the hat top the circle that we're gonna to add to the top here. You can also use a pom-pom. You can hot glue it in place, or you can just put a couple of stitches right in the middle. If you are adding a pom-pom nose instead of the felt nose, you can go ahead and add that now. You can hot glue it in place, that's the easiest, and you are finished. It's a pretty quick and easy sewing ornament. It takes about 10 minutes or so to sew once you do your first one, I would say and they are great gifts to make and they are absolutely adorable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun sewing along with me. Please, please, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all of our easy sewing patterns as they're released. Visit alohasewingcompany.com or the link is down below in the description box on YouTube to see all of our super easy sewing patterns that you can print at home so you can start to sew faster. We make sewing patterns for literally everything from baby items, kids clothes, decorations, holiday stuff and gifts, bags and more. And before you go, mahalo.